Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Uh, season 6 just released. We all know that. It's currently 4 a.m. in the morning my time and I am going to show you all of the brand new map changes in Season 6. We're going to do something a little different today. I, I do this once in a while. You don't have to like the video. You can if you want. But today I want to ask you to subscribe. Six out of every ten of you guys that watch these videos uh, all month, whatever it is, uh, you are not subscribed to the channel. So if I can convince even 10% of you who are not subscribed, we'll break a record today. All right, so do your thing if you could. And uh, let us I'm super excited for this video. I've been waiting, literally been waiting so long for it. Okay, let's start out with um with the big one all right so this is floating island and um if you're a fan of my channel you know that there was a whirlpool i talked about a whirlpool weeks ago and looky here <laughs> we got the whirlpool now i've landed here once i actually landed up there i got an rpg i dropped like five guys <laughs> um so i believe i didn't get to a chance to go down here so i believe this shoots you flying up um like if you go in this uh tornado looking thing and then obviously the current probably pushes you in but I, I haven't had a chance there is some chest spawns down here and this is one of the bigger changes. like this is insane to me man look at this beauty down here this is the cube right here uh, oh yeah you can see it right here look at it so there's the cube and up here it's our normal <laughs> it's our normal loot lake middle spawn area so you you know or that house you know that but there are some chests lying around some floor loot chest chest uh and i don't know if every chest spawn will be here i didn't join a 50s game this was just squads uh chest spawn there so this is uh, obviously if you land here there's like when i landed there's probably 30 people here everyone's checking it out super busy location so this is one of the bigger ones next up every spot that was a rune rune location in uh in season five has now turned into a corrupt zone in these corrupt zones, you can find shadow stones. And uh, and what these things do, I should actually quickly say, uh, rifts are not gone in season six. I said this in a video earlier uh, today. Rifts are still here, and I'm so happy about it. Okay, back to my back to what I was saying. Shadow stones, and you can get these things. It puts you in like an invisibility mode. It allows you to travel fast, uh, go through walls. Uh, you're basically invisible. You're invisible if you're standing still. And this is where you get them. There's seven different zones. We may go check them all out um if if they're different but it seems like they have three chest spawns i don't see any floor loot um but there should there might be some floor loot it's because my character is not in the replay region so again there's seven of these we may check them all out i'm gonna see how many other changes there are next up some adjustments have been made in the wailing woods area all right so there's this uh, a new cabin's been added here with uh with chest spawns there's even an underneath i'll slow this down a little bit all right there we go man settle it down let me let me show the people what's going on oh look at that all right so chest spawn down here is there something in the roof as well yeah we got a chest spawn up here so a very substantial uh cabin added there now i believe there's another cabin over here this is also what i wanted to show you this one's even better i actually landed here one game as well i played two games this was my second game and there was a lot of chest spawns um not one in here but there's multiple doorways uh there's an under there's a basement as well so i think there's one chest spawn there i can't remember if it's two or three it's at least two though uh in here was there one up top i'm not too sure where this last one was uh, but again as you can see very big building not a bad spot to start and loot especially with um with the shields with the the wood like wailing woods is it's loaded now I was debating this, but I'm pretty sure the bunker has changed orientation. Did the bunker change? Like, I, I, so I wanted to bring this up with you. Let me know in the comments down below. I swear the bunker was pointed like like was pointed towards me before. <laughs> we were debating this earlier, man, and I guess I could just look it up. But what's the fun in that, man? I'm pretty sure the bunker has changed directions and maybe even location, but regard like the reason i'm not looking it up it's not the biggest change in the world i still can't go in there i'll keep you up to date on anything bunker if they do decide to add it uh into the storyline now i don't know if this third one here is a new one but there is this third bunker like wailing woods is actually or third log, log house or yeah log house over here log cabin uh wailing woods is actually very viable now so i'm excited about that 
and let's move over here uh, i believe this area i just don't land in this area i believe this area has changed a little bit right the texture here on the ground i don't think that's a glitch oh jeez Oh, jeez. I'm very glad I just went down here because I had no idea about this change. There's a massive, what is going on down here? There's a massive, like, underground man cave. He's got the trout. He's got the moose up or the elk up on the wall. Some chest spawns. So we got a huge, like, this wasn't here before, I don't think. I'm I didn't know about this one. I literally, I'm kind of winging a lot of this. There's a rift down here. Okay, okay, so this must be a new underground location, man, and I like it. Built right underneath, so that's why the texture has changed, so that people like me can find out about these crazy little map changes throughout. So I really like this. So another big area, Wailing Woods has upgraded, man. And even this, I believe, yeah, this this looked a little different as well with this stone building, and that's because it, it it's like the hatch or the elevator down to this this secret man cave i love it all right so there uh, i'm glad we went to whaling like whaling woods has a lot of changes and again i may miss a little one here or there and if i do i'll bring it up in another video um because there's probably the littlest things that i just can't fit you know i can't find within the first hour of the update being live but uh, i'm gonna get as much as i possibly can we got another corrupt zone here again triple chest spawn this one's bigger so you might actually see more shadow stones in this area uh, but yeah, there's a second one there. Ha ha! I knew there was something, uh, cornfields, right? I knew there was something in the patch notes about this. I'm really, I'm literally just ripping around the map looking for new stuff. So this is at, uh, definitely here at Fatal Fields. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to walk through this. Because I, I kind of assume you will be able to. This will make the fights very weird. So, sorry, I just haven't had a chance to play, but you guys can go test this out for yourself. Um, it's gonna very if you can walk through this. These this could make for some very weird fights. Uh, if you're just I don't know the visibility is obviously very very minimal, and I, I and I don't know. We'll, we'll check around some more to see if it's in more places other than Fatal Fields. This is the place I came to check it out because I assumed Cornfield or I think it's called Cornfield was was going to be located at the farm that makes sense uh but i'll do some more digging that's exciting man that's, that changes the this place up just even that right looking good man looking good fatal fields there's our uh our third corrupt zone here triple chest spawn so it looks like every single one is going to have a triple chest spawn as i'm flying by fourth corrupt zone here it's cool how they're all different, right? Some are on hills, just different terrain. Some are surrounding and going around different houses. I like that, man. You, you can tell they, they've put the effort in for, you know, to, to make the details stand out. I appreciate that. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, so this is the, the last big change that I know about. And that is the Haunted Castle. So Haunted Hill's got an upgrade, baby. And we actually... We didn't really call this. I like. Uh, I've been trying to think. Like, so obviously, some things we got wrong, but we actually have talked about, and I've I've told you guys about a lot of the stuff that's dropped in season six. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, you found some of our speculation slash leaks helpful because it seems like some of it came to fruition. And this is, I mean, we were talking. We we thought there'd be a totally different change, but there is no uh, info that led me to speculate about a haunted uh, a haunted mansion. So let's see, so let's see what we got in here. We got chest spawn. Let me look around. What else you got for me? You got any other chest? How, how viable is this spot? <laughs> is basically what we're trying to discover. Another chest spawn. That's two. And I believe all chest spawns actually are spawning. There's one down there. I'd almost count that. Three, four. So this is not a bad area for chess. And, and you, you still do have haunted hills. I think this just makes haunted hills. Uh, one, it makes it look a lot cooler. But just... Uh, a bit more viable five chest spawns i don't think we've counted that one yet and six so yeah six different this is actually a very good area you land here on your own you're getting i mean we we counted the one down here so that's five chest spawns guaranteed and there might be a couple more so i uh i like this addition and come on it just looks cool to go with the whole darkness look at that oh dude look at that floating island from afar to go with that darkness vibe uh i think this is absolutely perfect man so Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, we're not going to go look at the other corrupt zones. I don't think there's a point. 
What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know with a comment down below. Again, you don't have to touch that like button, but subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And even if you're not new around here and you're a frequent viewer, I know there's a lot of you out there not subscribed. Hit that sub button for me. It helps me out tremendously. I have another video dropping on all the secrets uh, coming out for Fortnite uh, or with the Fortnite Season 6 update. So... Yeah, uh, stick around for that. And if I missed anything, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I'm sure I will know about it, though, within the day. And then I could, I, if it's a lot, I'll do a V2 map changes. If not, I'll just include it in one of my upcoming videos. So thanks, guys, always for watching these videos. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. It's awesome. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.